I think it, it, it is the it's the crux of the problem with, with these long-term contracts and it's the reason the long-term contracts are led. It says how can we develop more flexible solutions when infrastructure costs multi-million dollars, which they do. And, you know, my plants cost multi-million dollars, Merck's don't cost quite as much but they cost multi-million dollars, Ener waste energy recovery plants cost multi-million dollars and to justify that investment you need to secure your feedstock for a long period of time to get the payback on that investment. So there is a natural desire and, and reasoning, good reasoning, for someone to ask and, and get a long-term contract. And I think that's the crux of the problem that we have to figure out, is how do you still apply that pressure to constantly innovate and constantly have best available technologies when you're locked in for such a long period of time? Uh, but you also need the security. I, I won't make an investment unless I know I have, I have a security of raw material. My investors won't put up the money to build a multi-million dollar plant unless we know we can secure our raw material feedstock. So that's a fundamental issue and I, and I guess the only solution I can suggest is that the, the communities take a vested interest in the recovery value of those resources so that they're constantly looking for the, the maxim, maximizing that value of those resources. Exactly. Um, which leads to one question that somebody asked earlier that I have a great deal of passion for. Um, and you're also poking at it as well, Mike, which is, is there a, there's not a single solution, but is there an approach, an appropriate approach to develop solutions? Scientifically, and I am a scientist, I actually do think there's an approach. Um, but I think as you've heard here today, I mean, the approach is understand your feedstock, understand the market outputs, and then configure the, the technology to actually optimize around those two variables. Scientifically, it's relatively straightforward, um, but I don't really think that's where the barrier is in terms of the uh, approach. The barrier is what Luis referred to, which is social, political, financial, uh, long-term contracts. So I hope that answered the question. And I didn't mean to weigh in for you guys, but we've got like 10 minutes. Um, and I want to make sure that we get this last question. Um, oh my goodness, Luis, you might actually be better to speak to this one. Eugene <laughs> asks, um, "What are this is a very good question. 